Alright guys, what is going on? Buster Barnes here, bringing you episode number 5 of season number 3 in my West Ham career mode. Yes, it's been a little while, just thought I'd take a bit of a break over the Christmas periods, but we are back to continue and to finish season 3, um, which will potentially be the final season in this West Ham career mode specifically. In the last episode, we did beat uh, Piemonte Calcio, or Juventus, in our Champions League group game, which is a pretty big win. We did lose to Chelsea, however, in the league. We did beat Sheffield United quite convincingly. And uh, one of the big developments that happened was that Suchek has been sold to Manchester United and um, will be joining them in January. So I did ask you guys to let me know who you wanted me to sign out of these shortlisted players. You guys can still do that, as I don't think we can sign anyone until that Suchek money does arrive. Um, so yeah, we've still got time to wait on that, so do let me know guys who out of these players shortlisted you would like me to sign. I'm sort of thinking maybe someone like Awa or someone like La Celso, uh, the two sort of people that are sticking out to me here. But Ndombele, Goretzka, they're decent. Not too sure about um, Valverde or Fabian, but um, you know, do let me know guys who it is you do want to bring in. We've got a decent episode coming up though. I think a game against Crystal Palace, a game against Liverpool and continuing our Champions League group campaign. So with that said, let's go getting into our first game of the episode. Okay, so we are sitting fourth place in the table. I really have to remind myself of how we're actually doing in this career because it's been so long. But if we do win our game in hand, we will go to 21 points. Only one point behind Manchester United, who we did sell Suchek to. But to be honest, guys, our main goal this series is to win the Champions League. And um, to be honest, I just didn't enjoy playing with Suchek. So taking that amount of money from United was fine by me. I think I saw that Calvert-Lewin there shortlisted with three Chelsea players for... Um, player of the month contendership which is interesting but um, yeah, getting into this game against Crystal Palace we're going to go with our strongest 11 it should be enough to do the job I haven't played FIFA in a while so not too sure hopefully I will not be too rusty but either way should be enough Oswald De Nato caused us problems last time we faced them they've got some new players Willock they've picked up Cahill and um, former Chelsea man starting in defence are you on the right wing I'm assuming that's um, Jordan are you and not his brother but, um, yeah, like I said, the game that we should win, um, hopefully, we can pick up the points. Passing to Calvert-Lewin. Passing to Saar. That was some really nice play. And how on earth has Ismail Saar missed that? I have no clue. That was some nice play from Calvert-Lewin. But, yeah, maybe he just needed an extra touch or something. I don't know. But um, that was probably the best chance of the game so far. And we've been all over Palace. Hopefully, we can keep that up. Very nicely, indeed. Oswald Inato passes that in to Willock. Willock has a shot and Lunin is forced to make a save. Crystal Palace's first sort of chance in this episode so far. They whip that in and that is a very interesting one. They shoot and goes in near post from Gary Cahill of all people. Oh my god, what was that? Palace pretty much had no sort of showing during the game. He goes to run and hug his manager like they all do. Um, but yeah, look at that. that was, was that straight off the training ground? I have no clue. But Cahill near post off the post and in. And just like that, guys, um, Crystal Palace, despite all of our possession, are 1-0 up. And is this the rush showing, guys? Is this me not playing for a while, affecting my finishing? I don't know. But and there wasn't really much I could do to defend that, in all fairness. There's no one making a run at all. But Calvert-Lewin passed that through. And what a shot that was by Suchek. And what a big save. By the form, we've definitely had the better chances this game, but just half as that is how it ends. Um, yeah, losing 1 0 to Palace at home, not the best thing we want to be doing, but we still have a half to try and pull that around. As you can see, there's one shot on target, even the goal wasn't even on target, but um, yeah, not really much to say rather than we're playing well, so um, hopefully um, we can turn things around and we can maybe go on a counter if there's players there waiting. Through to Ismail Assar, and Ismail Assar's got some pace. And can he just run away from his men? He can. Ismail Assar has a shot, and what a save again from the front. Definitely the man of the match so far. He's saving absolutely everything. And um, a point at home to Palace isn't necessarily something that you really want as Calvert-Lewin as a free header. And needs to be doing better there. Um, if we are Palace a little bit ahead, but Rice now through to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek up through to his main Lassar, his main Lassar down the wing. Once again, can he pop it through to Calvert-Lewin, who rifles that in at the back of the net. And we need to pick up the ball, as he does. 
One all guys, we've equalised with Palace after many attempts. Lafont, I tell you what, the only way to get past him was to square the ball across. Um, it's made the side really just causing um, them terror and um, an interesting shot from Calvert-Lewin, but rifles that past Cahill. Ten goals in the league already for him. Um, pretty, pretty mental from him. But, I mean, we've, ex we've seen that before last season. But, yeah, hopefully we can now go on to score a winner in this game. Through over to Calvert-Lewin, and Suchek is actually through, and he's got the pace, and he gets fouled, and I think that's going to be a yellow card for Gary Cahill. Um... And a lot of players are going a bit crazy. I think we want them to be sent off, but I don't think that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, free kick opportunity. I'm not the strongest at free kicks, but that was a pretty cynical foul as Suchek was through. Look at this. Suchek just turns away and gets absolutely clattered by the former Chelsea man, the captain of Crystal Palace. And now we have a chance to try and score. And I'm not too sure how that's going to go. Um... If we just put some power on it, shoot, tap it well, and that was more straight at the font than I thought. I thought that was maybe have a bit of curve on it, but it didn't, which is a bit unfortunate. Free kicks are definitely not something that, um, I guess, benefit me, really. Check Suchek, can he knock that through to Boga? He can. Boga's now through. Boga's going to hit that across over to Gilmore, and oh my god, the scrappiness. And, oh, that could have been it. The defender was just there at the last moment. I think that's going to be a draw against Palace. A well-earned point from the Eagles. And, yeah, guys, that's it. one all. It was a good game. It was a game that we should have won. But Lafont was just insane. Definitely man of the match performance from him. Um, the goal from Calvert-Lewin, not enough to um, spark us to a win. But as you can see, we had seven shots on target. Pretty much, you know, all of them by one saved by him. Definitely were the better side, but that's how it sometimes pays off. And like I said, I haven't played the game in a while, so maybe my finishing's a bit rusty. But um, hopefully, with me at least playing like that, it can be um, some good stuff going into the next few games. Game away against Liverpool, a very important game. Second against thirds. We're going to change to our black kicks. I just like playing in it over the um, light blue one anyway. Um, but yeah, an important game guys, we're going to go with our strongest team still, not many days before we have that game against Hertha Berlin, but I'm sure we can rotate a few players in that one. Liverpool's team actually looking a little bit different, they've got um, Torres at centre-back, they have Partey and Verratti in midfield, so a few new additions to when we last um, faced them, so they're actually you know, developing the squad a little bit, but that, that is some quality they have got still in the team, so it's going to be tough. Both of a 4 3 3 formation away, it's going to be hard, but hopefully we can do enough to get the win. And it was actually against Liverpool where we did, in fact, lift the Premier League trophy last season. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get some good fortunes again against the Reds. So they have a free kick and a dangerous area, actually. And that's going to be a goal kick bouncing off the head of Thomas Partey. But now Lunin, he's going to launch that long can Calvert-Lewin compete that header and pass it away he can compete but it does go straight back to Liverpool but um, can we actually win that away we can Suchek doing in some very good defensive work and he's not usually one we get on the wing but it's gone to Calvert-Lewin who heads it home and that was a mistake from Liverpool from Trent Alexander-Arnold to be more specific and the former Everton man comes back to haunt um, his former Merseyside rivals as he gets a little bit too close for comfort on the screen but um, either way, Suchek getting the assist. Why is it that he's playing like this since we've sold him? Literally, before we sold him to United, he, I never enjoyed using him. He was clunky, he lost the ball a lot, made mistakes. And now we've sold him, he's playing out of his boots. I honestly don't understand what is happening. Kind of almost making me regret my decision. But, you know, it was always going to be the plan to get someone else instead of him. So as Calvert-Lewin scores his 11th goal of the season. And, um, yeah, decent. Hopefully we can try and hold on to this lead. OK, we did not keep him from doing that. Through, though, to Verratti. Verratti shoots and, yeah, just too much space there. I couldn't get close to him quick enough. And Liverpool equalised quite quickly against us. That was a bit annoying because the defender just didn't really do what I wanted him to, Kabak. But that is just, unfortunately, what happens sometimes. You can see they just sort of pass it across. I know what they're doing. It's actually very simple, but Carrick just doesn't go the right way. He doesn't speed up and make the tackle. 
and um, yeah, Vivate, four goals in the league, that's actually quite a bit for someone like him, you wouldn't expect that, but um, yeah, that is a bit of a shame, but at least we're not losing, and hopefully we can um, do what Liverpool did to us, and um, react well. He actually skips over him there, pass through, to Loftus-Cheek, Loftus-Cheek has a shot, and fires it over the bar, and that was a good chance for the Englishman, but um, just didn't have enough time, he had to sort of swipe at it, and wasn't too far away, but definitely would have liked to have hit the target there. That's going to be the first half, guys. One all against Liverpool isn't the worst thing, but I am a bit disappointed. I think we had some decent attacks, but the passes just weren't... They weren't there. The passing just was not on point. Hopefully we can amend that in the second half and pick up a win, because we definitely, I think, deserve to be winning from the last stages of that half. Um, Fabinho now with the ball. Over to Salah. This is a dangerous thing. I don't... I think we're going to give up a goal here, guys. I just don't see us keeping the ball, it just looks a bit scary, Kabak's done well, can he get rid of it, he actually can to a point, Sarno over to Rice, Rice can he get rid of that, he can, over to Ferran Torres, okay, Ferran Torres to Suchek, Suchek too, is made of Saar, and I don't know how this has happened, but Saar shoots, and Saar hits the back of the net, and just as I thought we were going to concede, we've somehow staged an unreal counter-attack, and um, that was pretty amazing from us, Saar with his pace gets through, can't be stopped, Pass to Allison, and just like that, we're two one up. Got the one goal lead again. It's made the Saar rectifying, and maybe him not scoring in the last game, but and that is his fifth goal in the, of the season in the Premier League. And um, yeah, back on top. Hopefully this time we can try and um, keep the report bay, but it's going to be tough to do. The Loftus Cheek is making the overlapping run. He's running through. He's against Van Dyke. He shoots and it goes over. I think Van Dyke just put him off enough. And I couldn't see a passing icon. He's got hold of his shirt. That would be a yellow or even a red, I guess, because it's last man in um, uh, real life. But um, obviously, um, it's not. It's the game, where, which, I mean, is fair enough. But now, our team is getting very pressed. And I don't know what they're trying to do, but they've made some space here. Diop's going to pass that over to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek through to Rice. And now the space has found itself. We've beaten Liverpool's press. And this is where it is dangerous from us. Now through to Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin, what can he do? Can he hit that across to Suchek? And Suchek yet again, guys. What did I say? He's, he's getting in all the right places now that we've decided to get rid of him. And Calvert-Lewin actually getting the assist, actually doing a decent pass across. And Suchek almost just gets stopped there. But he puts his, um, puts his foot just in front of, I believe that's Torres. And it hits the roof of the net. Allison had absolutely no chance. 3-1 away at Liverpool, guys. What a result this would be if we can keep it. But don't put it past Liverpool to score two because they've been very dangerous in this game. <laughs> Uh-oh, Thiago cuts inside. This is Tard and the goal just finds through. The passing of Thiago, you can't give him any space. Firmino makes the run. And just when I said we want to get rid of the scary moment, um, Liverpool are now only one goal behind us. And who knows what is going to happen. I knew the mistake I'd made as soon as I charged Thiago there. I knew there was going to be space. Really nice finish. And um, yeah, Firmino is third goal. Verratti has scored more goals than Firmino. That is, that's interesting. But um, we've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes to just try and now hold on to a lead rather than um, to try and add some more. 3-2 away against Liverpool. I'll 100% take it, guys. Getting that gap now, we did beat the third place team in the league. Or not too sure if they're third anymore. But, um, interesting one that Kimpembe came on. Still don't understand that stuff. But, yeah, a good result from us, guys. Happy with that. Hopefully we can take this momentum now and try and get a win in our Champions League group stage match. So, final game of the episode, guys, against Herford Berlin. The two teams, actually, who are top of the group, which is interesting. Um, Juventus actually yet to win a match, which is pretty Crazy, they're going to be against Moscow, though, so you'd expect them to win that. But it's going to be an interesting game, and we are going to have to make a couple of rotations, maybe, just because we do have this game in between, um, obviously, Liverpool 1 and between an Arsenal 1. But as you can see, they have Vendel, they have Ndombele up, they have Tarkowski in um, centre-backs with Zagadou, um, Munir as well. But if we go to team management, I am... Going to play Boga, who's content at the moment. We're going to give him a go over Torres. We're also going to play Billy Gilmore. Actually, are we going to play Billy Gilmore? 
it looks like Suchek needs a rest. So I tell you what, we're going to put Billy Gilmore in the team. We're also going to play Frimpong for Emerson, who seems to need a rest as well. And I think that is probably going to be it for the changes. I could maybe play a Kouassia or Garcia, but I think against the top of the group, that's a bit of a risk. Maybe against Moscow, I'll rotate a bit more, but that's going to be the team with three changes. Hopefully, it's going to be enough to pick up the win with Samphir Isbasa as the referee. And Dombele could be a good chance to scout him. He was one of my shortlisted options for a Suchek replacement. Not the highest overall, though, out of the options, but we'll see how he does as we just try and string things together. As often as Cheek knocks it out to Frimpong, the man that we did mention. Um, he's actually going to keep the ball very nicely indeed, as he's going to make a run down the wing. He's going to chip that over. Is Calvert Lewin free? He is. And just when I was talking about Frimpong, guys, he gets an assist ahead of across to Calvert Lewin, uh, who just really, just nicely pulls away from his man in defence to score that header. And um, just like that, we're 1-0 up against the other team top of the group. So that would be very nice to pick up this win and try and get this group wrapped up as quickly as possible. But a nice header into the bottom left corner. Keeper has no chance. And um, that is going to be another goal for us and another goal for Calvert-Lewin. Khan, and that's actually a bit scarier. And again, Lewin is forced to make a big save. He's cheering. Probably should be trying to sort out our defence. Don't really know what they're trying to do. And they pull it short. Really nice to get a second goal just before um, the second half does take place. But Kabak now up and over to Diop. Diop to Saar. Saar to Calvert Lewin. What can Calvert Lewin do? I'm not too sure. Hits that through to Loftus Cheek, and that was a little bit fortunate. Not going to lie. Loftus Cheek is through. Passes that across, and Billy Gilmore getting a start in the Champions League finds his goal in the game. Assisted by Loftus Cheek. The two centre mids. Linking up, and whilst Gilmore's overall isn't necessarily good enough to have him starting, he is a pretty immense squad player for this team. Scores important goals, links up play well, and is a very good technical player, and he definitely has his place in the team. I'm not too sure how he actually got that past, but um, either way, Gilmore makes the run, gets past the fence, and just like I said guys, 2-0 before half-time, very nice indeed. BL now 2 and Dombele. And Dombele has the ball. That is a very good ball and a good goal by Vendel. And, um, and Dombele is showing how he can string a pass together and um, punish us. And 30 minutes left, 2-1. Can Herford Berlin come back and try and get past? Don't know why they're celebrating like that when um, they're not um, winning but um, or have not scored an equaliser. But either way, that was a very good ball. Couldn't do anything by that. Shouldn't have been off the streak having to track that run. But... Um, yeah, that's, that's a question for my defence. There's still a good goal by them. Vendel getting his first goal in the Champions League. And now Nkambang through. Oh no, over to Rice. And what have we done? Poor defending. I thought he was going to pass it, but he didn't. And he just ran through and scored. And just like that, our defence has completely exploded. And we've conceded two goals. That was disappointing for me, guys. I have to hold my hands up. Look, I don't know. I just moved away from Rice because I thought he was going to pass it. That was very stupid for me. Shoot across goal. Lumen can't do much. That is, that is a shame. <laughs> now they're through once more. Can we pick that up? We can now. Session on. Can this be our time to try and attack? Through by Boga over to Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin trying to get through. What can he do? Can he go through? Two Loftus cheek, he can. And I was actually trying to put that ball through to Gilmore, but he overhit it. But it didn't matter because Loftus cheek kept his run and somehow poked the ball past that um, Herford Berlin player. That yes, that was honest to God, guys. That was not what I was trying to do, but I will definitely take it as we knock it past their goalkeeper. Calvert Lewin there cuts on the inside, puts the ball through over there past the keeper. And a nice finish by Loftus-Cheek, potentially getting the winner, but um, we can't speak too soon, as Berlin have been on a bit of a roll in this second half. And I think that is going to be it. Somehow we've managed to keep Hertha Berlin in their own half, and that's going to be it, guys. 3-2 away at Hertha Berlin, the same score when we were away at Liverpool. And is this going to become the new 3-1? You guys know that we did go like a long time just winning games 3-1. Is 3-2 going to be the new 3-1, just to make it... That little bit more tense, I'm not sure, but it's a good win by the lads to cap off the episode there. Getting enough of three points in the group. Going three points clear at the top of the group. Um, I still think Kerfer Berlin will be in second place. Unless Moscow did win against Calcio, 
which I do think is probably a bit unlikely. But that is going to wrap it up for the episode, guys. If you enjoyed and are glad to see this Krimo back, please be sure to leave a like. Also, comment down below who you want to see me replace Thomas Suchek with us. We're going to have to wait till January. And as always, do subscribe for more Chelsea FC content. Or, sorry, West Ham United content. I haven't done this um, career mode in so long that I've just been doing my Chelsea reviews and my FPL previews. So, do check those out if you're interested, guys. I've got that almost rewired in my brain at this point. But we're getting back used to this career mode. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you next time.